Good afternoon, YouTube. So, uh, four months, about four months ago, I made a video on these uh, Victos Johnny Combat boots. And uh, basically, to sum it up, I the waterproofing on them sucks, but the boots are pretty, pretty awesome, pretty comfortable. So I would just suggest, well, you get the waterproof ones and don't have high expectations for waterproofing or just get the ones that are not waterproofed um i put these through extreme i i in my opinion extreme abuse we are talking i work a lot uh seven days a week i don't always work a f full days but seven days a week i mean sometimes 60 70 80 hours a week you know but <laughs> a minimum of 50 um, every single day for the last four months that I've worked, I've worn these boots. No exceptions. Even a couple times when they were soaked, they just put them on, said, fuck it. And, uh, so how did they hold up over four months? I could probably still squeeze another f month out of these boots before I really got to switch over to, uh, you know, my insulated, uh, more waterproof danners that I wear in the fall. But, uh, the soles are pretty amazing. I mean, they're worn, but usually they get burned out and the heels go crooked on most guys' boots. These are just a touch burned out. I mean, these, no exaggeration, I, I have to w walk at least 10 miles a day in, for work. Um, everything from landscaping to construction these boots have done it uh climbing ladders on roofs uh digging whatever you guys know anything construction related kind of my right I, I guess i'm you know i'm right-handed so i think your right foot is usually more dominant and when i'm on a lawnmower if anybody's ever been on a zero turn mower to lift up the deck on the, you constantly have to use your right leg and you're pushing this pedal. I think that's where most of the wear on this boot came from. Um, you can see this split. There's these holes right through the shit, but I, I, I don't know how those happened. Um, this happened early on. The sole started separating here, you can see. But they're still attached which is pretty impressive because the whole last form, th this happened a, a week or two in. They got a little worse separation, but the sole is still attached. I'm not getting any water like under, well, I mean, water does get in there because I said the waterproofing sucks, but it's not, you can see, this is major, major separation um, on, on, on both of them. But this didn't crack. Hold on, buddy. I'm making a video, dude. Don't interrupt me. Because <laughs> I don't want to do this again. I'm trying to update people on my... my John Hi. Get out of here. My Johnny Combats. So, um, yeah, they... Hi. Dude, please. So, they, um, they held up for what I put them through. And it sucks like all boots. The more broken in they get, the more comfortable they get. However, they shit the bed. I mean, I'm going to have to replace them. I'm going to run them for another probably a month and call it quits on them. But yeah, I mean, for a hundred and I think 30 bucks, I said they were, yeah, they were worth it. And what did amaze me is even with all these holes and shit, I got them out on the driveway drying out in the sun here, but the soles actually held together. Usually all the shit peels off on your boots. Soles held together super comfortable and even with water and shit getting in there no debris gets in them they're still bright yellow a little dirty still bright yellow like they were when they were new so yeah um johnny combats i'm gonna buy another pair even though i was kind of upset and i probably could have went through the warranty process and 90 percent sure they would have probably hooked me up with another pair of boots but for 130 bucks it just is not worth my my time to go through all that shit so um yeah awesome boots so uh, i don't know if this helps anybody yeah you could buy them they're comfortable if you can deal with the little problems but whatever good boots